it's not Sydney, it's Joe. <laughs> Someone has to make oh, it back before be we somebody. start. It's tradition. Uh, speaking of Sydney, we miss you still. Come back soon. We hope everything's going okay with you and your new little baby. Um, uh, speaking of babies, we have another. <laughs> Wait, where are you babies. going with this? <laughs> Big Code baby. Why did you look at me when you said that? <laughs> Speaking Code of it. babies, <laughs> <laughs> whoa, Jim, <laughs> something you're not telling us here. <laughs> Code, anyway. one e Code 187 from our forums, the guy who's uh, remaking Viridian, mm -hmm. he, he, uh, he just had a brand new little baby with his girl. And well, he didn't. So, so in other words, we need bit. somebody else to remake Viridian. Because <laughs> he's about to find <laughs> yes, out. I love that Life map. is very busy when you have children. <laughs> That's one of my favorite <laughs> levels. So I've been, I've mm. been following you know, that. And <clears throat> He hasn't been around. Pause. Just yes. pause that idea. He, he, had to, he had to pause for a little bit for a beautiful little baby girl. Yes. And um, mommy and baby are both doing fine, so congratulations. Cool. Congratulations. And we're very happy for you. Well, uh, that's all that we had today. Um, so I'm glad we'll you all see you later. <laughs> <laughs> um, so we a watched saw Zacubus's eighth video. Can you believe it's been eight weeks already? Yeah, oh, my awesome. God. Um, but Still going strong. Echo's shots. Hey, at least that I've only been featured, cannon, well, was, featured badly in one of them, so <laughs> soon to be two, but... So, oh, Zacubus, we have a video that from Joe. No. For no. your fail. Mm -hmm. for it the next it week, wasn't I'll me. It was, uh, it was Mysterio playing as me. You know? no. <laughs> that, uh, yeah, like Mysterio <laughs> ever uses another name, ever. That's true. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> we could all have a different name and game. <laughs> we could all be uh, sock puppeting, but no, not him. No. Yeah, no. <laughs> Never. Well, now, we will all sock puppet him, <laughs> yes. which is always fun. <laughs> Mr. Tyrael. Yeah. yeah. Mr. Mr. Period <laughs> Serial. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Serial was the best one, I think. So but we, far. we used to have these like huge arguments about like trying to figure out what just happened, what just happened. And you're like, well, when <laughs> whoever that guy was was next to that other because we couldn't know who anybody's names were. So yeah, well, uh, it all started because yeah. we well, wanted. He to and I have always nuts. used the same name. Like well, every me match too. Because of that, it's very rare that I that I change yeah, my name too. But I I do not everyone. everyone I'm always does. surprised, even when Steve does it, because he's usually so serious, and, and then, then he busts out with like and this and crazy, a crazy name, name, and you won't expect yeah. it. Yeah, and he sometimes it's something off color that you're like, oh, okay. <laughs> well, the best <laughs> part is, I mean, Matt Steve? does it because he likes to know who he's fighting. It's yes. very important. Oh, I need to know what style to do. I need to know. So we'll all just throw different names into mess him up. But I'll be like Sydney sometimes. And the funny thing is, he really does play you differently. Oh yeah, and it's great. So you could totally throw him off his game. So as we get off on tangent. <laughs> yes. as another tangent. Uh, one, another thing we want to mention is uh, the people over at um, uh, Studio Wildcard. Yes. They're, Arc. They're, they're a wonderful game, Arc Survival Evolved. They now have modding tools. Yes. Just like UT. I, I have to say, um, I'm a big Arc player. You know, I, I awesome. got into it with my son. My son and I play it. We really like it. Um, he's much better at it than I am. <laughs> <laughs> it's rough when surprise. your kids, you know, surpass you in video What's your game. favorite dinosaur, Joe? This um, is very important. You know, I, I, don't, I haven't... He's tamed them. I haven't been able to. <laughs> we, we, I finally joined him. Because, let's face it, I work a lot, right? So... It, I finally got time he and played him. with him, and we I joined him in some, we were in the world, and we went and built this house, and we kept getting this stupid little spitty dinosaur, or whatever it's called. We're in the middle <laughs> of building this house, and spitty. him and I are talking, and I was like, oh, God, we're getting, and then your vision goes, oh, but he loves the game, and I, I, I have a lot yeah. of fun in it, so if you haven't tried ARK yet, go, yeah, go cool. check it out. Uh, tomorrow, uh, Chance will be here with uh, I think that the one somebody from Wildcard is actually going to be here. I think it's the lead designer. Yeah, somebody, and they're going to yeah. talk about using the modding tools and stuff like that. So that should be really interesting for mm -hmm. UT people too. So mm -hmm. make sure you stop by tomorrow, the uh, same time as this is this stream. Okay, we Pete has a little surprise. Okay, and now I, I gave it away <laughs> because I said <laughs> he I sounds said so hazy. Yeah, all right. <laughs> so yeah. Pete, Pete has been. One of the things that we all love to do is upload the videos, especially when Joe screws up really bad. <laughs> and <laughs> so Pete has actually it's been a rough been week. <laughs> been working on YouTube uploads from, from inside the game, and you got it working. Yeah, I've got it working. Uh, I've got a live demo. We'll see how well this works. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, go ahead this and is over so, yeah, so just switch. like with game development, always is things could go wrong. So just yeah. be prepared for that. So we're loading up. CTF outside that we played yesterday in Playtest Lab. Oh, so we may get to see the video right now. Yeah, I don't know what time. No, Joe no, no, at. don't show that. No. <laughs> <laughs> Joe is wearing a hat that I modeled. <laughs> the poker that face. Oh, yeah. is this poker, poker face? Oh, poker yeah. Face. Uh, Joe is. 
<laughs> wonderful poker face. <laughs> Let's see if we can find a Joe. Well, you guys though. got mad at me because you know I was using the Bob Life model and it doesn't have the proper team skins, which is much more fun. No, Bob Life does have proper team skins. Bob, now, Life, Bob Life has been updated. Let, let me let me just set the stage here to understand that it was me and like okay, a couple noobs, that. including the one I'm sitting next to, versus you know <laughs> our really good QA players in Stacy, and it was just time after time going after this flag and getting killed by four people. There were times where I, I think I killed each of you at least once on my way out, and still I couldn't get. I'd get to the bridge and there'd be frost. Or there'd be skins taking me. Oh, he me was nuts. matrix moving in this in this one. He was just <laughs> he couldn't miss. Yeah. Every every time I I would start to run out to the flag, I'd get headshot by Pete. <laughs> I was like, what is going on? He installed his hacks. Okay, so we got a nice Joe double death right here. Let's just hit compress. Let it go. Beautiful. So just to clarify, you set a begin point and an end point inside of the demo, and so it's pulling that out as a video clip, right? Yep. Mm -hmm. So you set the, that, that, and then you hit record, and it'll rewind, play all the frames out, capture the audio, capture the video, and then compress it. And hopefully this is done in another 20 seconds. Um, but the idea is we'll start with YouTube, and then if people want other services, we can go to Facebook, we could go to um, Twitter. We could well, you had yeah. web uh, DM in there at one point, didn't you? Yeah, it, the raw WebM file is there, so you can drag and drop it onto Twitter. Mm -hmm. I don't think they have direct uh. uploading of WebM. They only support MP4 right now. Uh. Um, but if you want to just bring WebM into whatever video editing program, you can just lop off clips like that. Cool. You can place stationary cameras. It kind of follows the the nice. last camera setup you had, so you can do first person on. Joe, and you can watch Joe fly Watch cap. me screw up, you know, yeah. hammer jumps and <laughs> translocator jumps. Well, this would be great because I mean, yeah, you, can, you can pull little clips together and, you know, like you said, cut them into bigger movies or just dump stuff out to Frag yeah. Center. Joe, Joe fail. Greatest hits. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Joe is okay. the oh, absolute is butt of the joke today. Yes. Oh, how, how come it doesn't have my account here? Whoops, sorry, I tested it. Okay. Ooh, Zach failure. You still See, they blame me here. for failure. Yeah. Okay, well, I'm uploading it to Zach's account. Sweet. Zach has a new and YouTube thanks file. thanks to our super fast internet, this will take less time than it took to compress. Hopefully. Ideally. It Fingers crossed. <laughs> doesn't look like it's going anywhere. This is the problem of live yeah. TV. It is going. It's just not doing anything. Uh, it's not uploading this, updating this bar, but we can switch back. Because it doesn't actually even tell you it did it well. But <laughs> it prints it to the but log. But point being, working, you can pull something that. out of a demo and upload it straight to YouTube. This yeah, we'll awesome. watch it. This is entirely work in progress. This is how stuff yeah. goes so much. Okay, so that's my demo. For Yay! Right <laughs> but so we, when we'll are people going to be able to do this? Uh, next release. Next release. It will be in there. It's checked into the build. People with GitHub can do it now. <sighs> I yeah. just absolutely love this. That makes me it makes me very happy just to be able to to do something. <laughs> yes. And doesn't make me happy because right you away. keep <laughs> uploading embarrassing videos of me. So <laughs> oh, I don't like no, I love should be less embarrassing. Uh, I or wish. less embarrassed. I wish age totally takes it out well, of me. Well, I man. told you it wouldn't be funny if you weren't a superstar when you played. Sham <laughs> whatever. <laughs> I think everybody who played at the community <laughs> event just laughed at that. <laughs> 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 but I wonder uh, if we get get a video of Matt. For Zacubus. I don't think Matt would be real happy, though. Oh, I don't think he would either. No. <laughs> <laughs> so, if you have any questions, do you want to start a thread about it, Pete, for people? No. Oh, no. uh, yeah. No. He's like, no. <laughs> I won't start it. Somebody else can start it. Tim A is doing a lot of work with the replay uh, oh, awesome. slider and yeah. getting it all looking nice. I think that was kind of an older version. He has a nice version where it's down along the bottom mm -hmm. and it goes away as you move the mouse, so it's more like nice. an up to date hear, video I, player. I hear yes. a rumor that Tim Timez might be doing some work for us as a contractor. Yes, yes. he was brought. He was brought on board a couple of weeks ago, and uh, We've just. We've been meaning to tell you, but yeah, it slipped my mind. Yeah. But congratulations, Tim Ed. We're happy to have have him with us. He's doing fantastic work. So. <laughs> as as mm -hmm. he's been known to do. Yes. Okay, now we're going to take a look at some cosmetic items. Yeah. Speaking <gasps> of that. The mm -hmm. poker face. <laughs> my, my, my poker face. So, poker so yeah, you got you got the glimpse of, of Pete's special character <laughs> that he did all by his lonesome, <laughs> um, which was awesome, and got in game, 
And that really just kind of goes to show, I, I, I think we have, we have good tools that, that anybody can use really to get in there. And we would love to see more characters get into the game. So I actually have two different threads going in the forum. And then I worry that people are starting to confuse the two. They're getting crossed over. Um, but on that one end, in the forums. Uh, we, have, we have this need. We want more characters. We have the base uh, Thundercrash character. Um, that is not Malcolm. We've been calling him Malcolm, but that is not meant to be Malcolm. It's just supposed to be an example Thundercrash character. We have a base Necrus character in, um, and we want you guys to say what the rest of the team looks like. Um, so anybody can go in and, and, and build stuff. We should change his name and game, too. Um, we, have, we did. We did. I think uh, it's that'll be in the next build, like yeah. Um, but... Uh, uh, point being, th there's there's been a couple kind of early starts where people have gone out there. Teriyaki style has mm -hmm. just started a new character, uh, and she's beautiful. Xenomon has done some uh, the Necrus female, mm -hmm. and um, some variant heads for the Necrus that are looking really really promising. I'm trying not to sneeze, not not crying. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> <you're> so like <laughs> <a clown. laughs> <laughs> make you cry every day. <laughs> um, so, so please, please, please. Uh, we have a ton of concept art in there, but not a lot of people modeling. <laughs> so, guy. if you think you can, if you if you think you can model, uh, yeah. we would love to get some more characters in the game, mm -hmm. um, did or you even just get more. Do that, Stacey? I did. Uh. <laughs> UT3 it's a, every time I see you know, I actually <laughs> named one of the bots Ephraim because he's supposed to be the demo guy that was the F yeah guy. So anyway, <laughs> uh, 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 anyway, the pain. There is yeah. a separate th thread that's going on that, in addition to character variety, we want to be able to build off that mm -hmm. by doing more cosmetic items. Um, and I think Shell has uh, we have a pictures. bunch of the the pictures. We actually have a ton of these that are I in the build this. now. Um, just you know, this is a Necris helmet, um, and this, I believe this one also. I can't really see the picture of myself, but I did some skin variants. So there's like a burgundy Necris armor that's kind of like a deep glowing red. Um, maybe it's this one. Uh, I did a variant of the beanies without the the logo in, in a couple different colors. Um, I did I don't some see a pink one. some skin variants. Oh, so there's nice. light armor and dark armor and light pants and dark pants. Somebody's totally asking for the Nally Cat when he's coming. <laughs> <laughs> Never. Uh, Pete did some sunglasses. Uh, of course he did. And, and the, <laughs> we have beret in a couple different colors. I did a couple different variations of the sunglasses, light armor, uh, and jungle camo for the. Wow, look at these are awesome. The Thundercrash characters. Um, so there's just all kinds of variations there you can do with pants and armor and uh, attachments. Um, these are some early concepts we had from Malcolm just showing, you know, what would he look like with a beard uh, and some various other pieces. And then Chris started to put together Ooh. some ideas for once we move beyond doing just helmets or glasses, like what other types of things mm -hmm. could we do? Uh, so there's some boots, there's some capes on the back. There's all kinds <laughs> no of other stuff. Necros, you know. um, this Armor is Necros guards. male gear. Uh, he also did one for Necros female. Um, and being kind of the absent-minded artist that he is, he lost the art. Um, but there's a picture of it on the wall, so I can maybe post a picture of a picture if that makes any sense. Uh, this is another cap that, that somebody's done. I, I just got this one. I haven't put it in game yet. All the other stuff is already in. That's pretty in. cool. Um, I uh, love this yes. one. Yes, helmet and you know color varieties and leader states and all kinds of stuff. Necro's face mask is in the works, along with a variant that has like a mm -hmm. uh, eye mask that goes up over the forehead, which is really cool. Uh, another uh, helmet with it's kind of a bad picture. That's my fault. That's a color wheel. <laughs> That's a color wheel. For everybody wondering, those are all the colors it, it of the shows rainbow. You what you can color. And then even this, uh, this one I found really amusing. It it took our existing beret and an existing material from the game, and put the two of them together, and it just kind of worked. And so it made this like hornet stripe <laughs> looking uh, uh, version of the beret, which is actually really really cool uh, on both the characters. So, He's on uh, Team Bumblebee. So yeah. <laughs> so I mean. So cool. A as, as of today, we have a bunch of stuff in the build from new stuff from Casio Hin, uh, Valius, Sumers, Down Limit, Codex, Mac Orion, Dan Paz 3D, and Styx 360. That is so uh, amazing. Nico Zero, Zinemon, Teriyaki Style, Quotidian, all doing really cool stuff with the characters. Thank you. Um, 
there's going to be a bunch of people that get that get contributor tags out of this. I can tell, and uh, we're very excited about it. Um, you know, going back to the the bray that you showed at the end. I mean, that's a good example of somebody just messing around. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Going into the editor and just starting to throw things together, and to see how they work. Hey, and, look at you that. You know, that's works. a great way to build your you know repertoire of knowledge of how the different pieces go yep. together. It doesn't. You don't have to be an artist. You don't have to have Photoshop. You don't have to have any of these things. Just start messing around I either with models and throwing textures together or maps and just throwing you know shapes out there and yep. models and seeing what you can do or even blueprints throwing things together and seeing you know breaking apart how we're doing something and trying something different it's really really easy mm -hmm. and hopefully more people will get out there and start doing it and i mean a lot of that stuff literally was you know like doing the red the red armor which i uh, for the necrus mm -hmm. It was literally like ten seconds worth of work to yeah. go in there and do right, and then you just had to change the material. But, but actually figuring out what looks good and what works and changing values is really really easy. Yeah, if you're willing just to go in and poke around. Um, so, I mean, there's 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 a lot there to do, and and again to be clear, we want character variation, and the cosmetics are a way to get even more variation out of that. But this isn't going to be like oh. The only Necros character in the entire game, you know, that, that's not our goal. Yeah. Uh, we want to have a whole team, um, and then every once in a while we can introduce whole new teams. But we can only do that if people are building new characters. And the uh, cosmetic item thing is also uh, a very uh, first step for us moving toward an, an inventory system, uh, which is something that Mysterial implemented this week as well, awesome. where we can actually... Um, you can start collecting these things as pieces that go into your inventory, and we can start awarding them to you for you know time played or in-game behavior or things like that. Um, and we have plans for doing uh, something more akin to the Counter-Strike system down the road. Um, hopefully, we'll get there. You know, with a you know crates or whatever they are. Yeah, of, that that, of that could be that a whole stream unlock. in itself. Yeah, I mean that, that's that. that's a whole other separate separate thing. Um, but this is kind of the first steps uh, toward getting there. Um, and what that the reason that's important, I think, is because that's in theory a really great way for people to start earning money off of this stuff. Right. Um, so uh, big, big even steps, even though you but big yeah, first step. I mean, we've always said the game will be free to play, and a game absolutely will be free the entire game. Um, but stuff like this gives people the option to add on to that experience. Amazing. Um, and the community members to start making some some mm -hmm. some money. So off of that, so, so excited to see all this stuff come online. Very cool. Somebody wants to know if we can get ha those hats in the game. We have a baseball we hat. Should. So yeah, we actually, should. Yeah, actually, we should. We should. We do have that. the Bob Life hat. Yeah, Bob Life baseball <laughs> hat. We do have the Bob and Life. We, we also have the have the, we have the money hat as well. Yeah. So and, uh, and yeah. these ga these hats are coming out of the game soon, right? Are yep. we still working on that? Yeah, we are actually. I wanted to say thank you to Ma Maker Premium who sent us these hats to begin mm. with, and we just put in an order for a bunch more, so we are going to have these in the store. Not yours. Yours is one of a kind. Nice, okay, but the the red and the blue hat. Mug them on the way uh -huh. back to the office gonna, and take it from come out because we're you know we're we're still iterating and stuff and we don't yeah. know the colors and everything. Yeah. But this is beautiful, so we. Yeah. You know, very happy with that. I've been wearing this a lot lately, and literally everywhere I go, I get compliments on it. So. Yep, I get Thank it you. too. I get it too with my necklace yeah. that cool. I had Shapeways print, and my ring that uh, Paul Michael Designs did, um. and everywhere I go, they're like, do you. Do you work yeah. at Epic? <laughs> <laughs> like, yes, I do. Do you know UT? So, yeah, it's really cool. Yes. All right. So we're excited. Jump in that thread. Do some stuff. It's surprisingly easy. Yep. I can do it. Yep. Anybody can do it. So, yeah, jump in there. Make some make some things. I want to make some things, too. We, we need a full suite of Bob Life gear. <laughs> yes. That Bob Life. <laughs> Bob Life collection coming soon. <laughs> so we're going to have some questions. Yay. Okay. <laughs> Can I leave now? <laughs> I'm going to do these two first. Uh oh. I don't have it. Yeah. Can you what? The ones we had to get Pete answers for? Oh, there we go. I got it. Oh. Yeah. Would you want to do it? No. I, I, <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't want to do it. You I'll, do it. I'll do it. It's, um, uh, you didn't write who <coughs> actually asked the question, though, so that's a little hard. I did. It's on the other one. Let me see. It's all over the place. We're everywhere. I got the first one about bone uh, shapes. IO 2 dk I or I don't know how you even say that. <laughs> well, no, that's the first one. Oh, well, let's yeah. just start there. So, uh, IO2DK asks, question number one, BSP 2.0 rapid prototyping when? No idea. Wish we knew. Yeah. Yes. Um, I, I guarantee you all the level designers working on this would like to know that, yes. too. It'll, it'll be there when 
engine team <laughs> done to you? Done. Uh, I mean, it, it's something that we've we've talked about for years. We've gone yeah. back and forth with the engine team. Um, depending on the style of game that we've been making, the need for BSP has kind of waxed and waned. Yeah. Um, we currently rely on it very, very heavily, so it would be great to have it. Uh, teams like the Fortnite team has, um, I think there's zero BSP basically yeah. in the entire game, so they don't need it at all. Uh, so it's, it's, it's more of when it falls in the engine team's priority list. Not uh, We don't have anything to do with that, unfortunately. It's a great question for Chance tomorrow. Yeah, uh, yeah. yeah, yeah come to the stream and ask them. In the stream tomorrow. <laughs> with yes. But we would love to have chance. it. <laughs> yeah, it would be really useful. Um, anyway, question two was, what does the UT4 player character size compare to to the default Blender software XYZ dimensions? So we had to go to Pete for this because... Uh, Pete I mean, Hayes. Uh, Pete Hayes, yeah. I, I had no yum, idea. Yum. And his answer is as follows. Go to the unit section in the scene lab, or tab, sorry, and ensure your unit <laughs> measurement is set to metric. And then, of course, the UT character is 206 centimeters, roughly six and uh, three quarters uh, feet tall. Of course. So Yeah, of course. Of course. So that's pretty much what it's always been. <laughs> <laughs> if you go to the game uh, the, uh, restricted <coughs> access character, you can export the character template mesh and import it into Blender. To ensure the proper scale, just be sure to set your mesh scale to metric before importing. Just as we all thought. Right, and that's because, I mean, <laughs> I, I don't use a whole lot of 3D programs, but I do know that on import, they mm -hmm. tend to like to convert things over to the, what their current base unit system yep. is. And so you got to make sure you set that. And then, yeah, what he says is true. Whenever you're working on level assets or something like that, just take the template mesh and bring it in so that you can scale it right up next to it and see so that you're, you're sure you're getting your dimensions properly. Um, Question three. I was actually seeing a lot of that even with the uh, cosmetic stuff. People would send it over yeah. and the hat would be ten <laughs> times the size that it was supposed to be, so I had to fix it and rescale it. But yeah. But I mean Unless that, that it came from Tim, Tim Ed, then you know that's the size it was supposed that to be. That it was supposed to be, <laughs> yes. <laughs> Somebody actually did, uh, that, was one of the, that was one of the things I forgot to put, a, an invisible hat that changes the size of your head with every kill. So nice. it's basically so the it's big, big head, head mutator mm -hmm. in an item, nice. which is awesome. one of the coolest things I've ever seen. Nice. Anyway. So question three was UT comp mutator when the answer is nope um, nope 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 you're on the wrong page no no nope. he's on the right yeah. page I O two I can oh that's a that's a question that's to a different something else Stacy trying to order me Jump around the gun. here. Uh, so no, UT comp mutator when <laughs> the answer is somebody is working on it in the forums I forget yeah. who uh, this isn't something that we would probably put internally into the game though I'm sure a, a number of the features that you would find in UT comp like you know, weapon statistics and that sort of stuff will eventually flutter into Yeah, the, the there are aspects game. of it that we definitely like and want to incorporate. There are aspects of it that we don't like and don't think should yeah. be part of the game. Um, so, but UT Comp as a mutator that you can choose to run on your own servers, awesome, go for it. Yeah. Um, and, and somebody's already working on it. So, yeah. I mean, there, yep. there is a thread in the forums right now. Go ahead and jump into it. Tell them what features you want, et cetera, and, you know, maybe he'll, he'll implement it or, you know, at least get a dialogue going. Uh, somebody in the said Vlad's working on it, so there you go. It's definitely in the forums. So uh, next question is, Rexus. hello, will uh, optimizations in game? Uh, it was very unpleasant to play on a very good, on a quite good laptop with a resolution of 640 by 480 and low graphic settings on empty maps. Well, here, here's the problem, Rexus. I would love to answer your and tell you what could be wrong, but you would have to give us a little more information. Yeah, we, we, need, we need some, we need some yeah. stats. Yeah. The, the truth is, I mean, <coughs> laptops often have really crummy video cards in it. So that it could be. It's also, remember, this is an alpha game. So the first thing I would tell anybody who's having performance problems, go into your system settings. It's the little, if you look at the game in the top bar, it's mm -hmm. the little, you know, uh, cog wheel thingy. Click on that, go to system settings, go to details, and make sure your stuff is set lower than epic. We have seen a couple bugs where, by default, it'll auto-detect your system and set it to Epic when you really don't want to be at Epic. Mm -hmm. um, I know one of my machines just it refuses to say that, hey, that's a really crummy video card. <laughs> Sets everything to Epic, and I get like eight frames a second when I go in there. <laughs> yeah. and, and you know, it's funny because every time we have a refresher, the I and I's get wiped. It'll be I'll run it once and they go, what the heck? Oh, uh, hold on, let me go set it. So, but I mean that said, Steve develops on laptop a lot yeah. when he's when mm -hmm. he's not in the office if he's working from home. And or it's working like remote. it's it's an older and laptop too. We have a lot of people that play. We've done QA testing on low end machines and on laptops, and it does seem to run okay. Mm -hmm. So again, without any more information, we don't know exactly what's going on with with Raxus's. What's machine, really funny is it works it works on my Surface. 
Right, I, have to say, I have to set it really low, but it, it, it is playable. Yeah. So. But to get to the question of optimizations, um, we're probably a, a little ways out before mm -hmm. we really take a, a, another look at you know trying to optimize either performance or network. Yeah. Usually, what that, that usually comes along in a push like, for example, the GDC push, right? Yeah. Whenever you you get to a, a fixed milestone that you're trying to shoot for. Usually the last few weeks of that is just push on performance. My like guess is sometime by the end August, of the year. Yeah. We'll, well, well, I, I think there'll be probably a push in August. Again, yeah. you know, we're, we're trying to do a, a big release then. So, yeah. So, I, but we'll see. We're, we're never going to have a shipping push for a while yet. Yeah. yeah. Um, but hey, if you want to go back into that thread and say what your specs are, we'll tell you maybe where it's going wrong. It's hard to tell. So, MoMix asks, map sizes are gigantic. They take up large amounts of disk space and take a long time to download. Are there any plans to address this or dramatically reduce file sizes? Pete, what do you think? Um, it's up to the mapper to decide what texture sizes they're going to use. Right now, we don't have a hard cap, so if they're using 4096s and 2048s, we don't really do much. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, it's kind of up to the engine team to, uh, I think shadow maps are kind of a big issue right now. Yeah, well, and a lot of that comes down to optimization. Yeah, so I think they can step Most on. Most of the, the maps aren't final either, yeah. so. Yeah. I mean, you can go in there and step on the shadow maps really hard and yeah, get them down, but that's, that's up to the mapper. That's the type of thing that we typically do near the end of a project when we're going into that kind of like final ship phase where we want to make sure that, you know. It's all going to. Resolution all is consistent the across disc. the board, yeah. so you don't have a 2048 texture yeah. on a little tiny bar of soap, and then a 64 by 64 texture on a giant wall, right? So we try and we try and normalize that kind of stuff and optimize for light maps. Well, and all you still yell at me, optimize. Yeah. And, and again, a lot of optimizations pictures. like that often <laughs> happen in the the near end term yeah. of a project because you don't want to optimize those things too early and end up hurting yourself on a feature that you're missing or some sort of incompatibility that right. gets into the game. So you want to get to where you're almost what you figure on feature, you know, are and content complete before you really start hard. I'm not positive like about this, but I'm fairly sure that BSP is fairly large as well. Mm -hmm. So the more that we cut out of that and replace with mesh work as things get a visual pass, that may help as well. I, ins I installed a game a couple weeks ago. It was 66 gigabytes. Nice. No world. Nice. Things are well, they are changing, you know, yeah. and it was a downgrade. They are, they are changing. So Teriyaki Style asks, uh, any plans for having blend shapes with the characters? Facial animations, corrective blends, etc. Is it worth researching testing? Um, yes. Now, uh, hold on, I got Pete's official answer on this one. Uh, it's not currently. Our animation efforts are focused on third-person character movement and first-person weapon and hand animations. However, our tech rigor says you can do anything you want. <laughs> the latest engine drop supports blend, sha uh, blend shape correcti uh, correctives driven by arbitrary curves at the root joint. So technically, we could do yeah, that, Chris. but it's not our focus at this point. Okay. And you yeah. said you're using some of the blend shapes. Yeah. On so Poker like Face, right? Bob Life has a kind of a Zach big hairdo, uh, <laughs> which <laughs> isn't compatible with Ouch. the current hat setup. So I have Poor a blend Zach. shape. Um, that shrinks his hair when he puts a hat on, and then when the hat flies off, it puffs his head back up. <laughs> so it's actually, it's okay to have extra blend shapes on a character. It won't break the game. And it's also okay to command blend shapes if you have a mod or something, and your mod happens to line up with the custom character and say, oh, it should turn on this blend shape when right. X, Y, or Z happens. Yeah, something happens, yeah. That's cool. That's that's a really good use of that as well. So it it does the in the nutshell it does work in game, although we're not officially really using it in any heavy capacity yet. No. Um, so the next one is Vlad asking, is there Hi, a way to uh, rework the built-in score checking system or disable it completely and make your own? Um, you can absolutely make your own, even in Blueprint. You just have to basically rewrite how games work. Um, I'm not sure how much we've exposed to Blueprint at this point. Um, if you're running into stuff, we'll try and get to it at some point in the near future to try and keep you moving. But I mean, it's it's really just a matter of we have a whole lot of things to do, and at some point yeah. in time, we'll make another. Okay, what what features do we need to move up to Blueprint that we didn't handle to begin with, and we'll handle them. I would also be curious to see what it is you're trying to do. Like, 
Is it just changing? Yeah, all the things. Well, Change, he's doing changing, a bunch of custom well, game types, right? Well, that's so. the thing. Is it changing the way that that information looks, or is he like, oh, I don't even like the way you guys are calculating score, therefore I, think I want to do a completely one, new yeah. system? And, and I'd be really curious, right? Because I think that that would be really good feedback for us um, to know why you th what you think we're not doing right or whatever, right? Like, I, th I think that could be really cool um, to help us develop that system. So another yeah. way to see it done is to give us feedback and maybe Steve will actually implement it. So he's the one who controls that system as far as I know. Yeah. So eventually we'll 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 give you whatever hooks you want. We're yep. just really blocked at the moment. Um, so the next question is by uh Macintosh. Thank you. I Macintosh. Don't know. <laughs> um, <laughs> thank you for doing these. Been, like, how will the ranking so system be used <laughs> for matchmaking and balancing teams on public servers? So I'm gonna start with that section because he asked a couple ones in here. And um, I'm actually working question. on Quick Match <coughs> right now. Mm -hmm. uh, here's how it actually works. So when you go to Quick Match, you pick whether or not you want to play DM or CTF. And it uses your rank to determine, um, along with a few other things, where to try and place you. And it tries to place you in a hub and in a game inside that hub only with people who are within a, a given tolerance of your rank. So if I'm ranked, just to give you an example, let's say I'm ranked, I think 1500 is like bronze four. So if I'm ranked that, you would see only people who are, you know, uh, 1900 all the way down to 1100 would be the range that it's currently set at. So it's like bronze, I don't know, seven down to bronze two. So they would all be, uh, it would try and match you into a, a hub game with them or start a hub game where you could jump in and right. play deathmatch. And as other people within that rank came in and tried to quick match, it would put you in there. We also have some other calculations that go on to it having to do with ping and whether we, we choose a server that has more people on it versus a better ping to you. There are tolerances, all sorts of there. Is that a, is that a full ELO ranking or is it our own? It, it is, well, I mean, it's a full ELO ranking that we implemented, so it's okay. our own system in there. Um, right now, uh, there's still a little ambiguity to which one we use, and I mean, ranking in itself in a game like UT that has so many different things that you should be trying to track on, it's a, it's a really hard problem yeah. to solve. But um, we're, we're still working <coughs> on it and playing around with it, and I'm sure it'll improve over the next couple of weeks. Um, and then the next part is, and will there be further refinement to the tutorial section? I believe Sydney is working yeah, on a lot of stuff. Yeah. Sid's, I mean, he's out on paternity leave right yeah. now, but that's, that's pretty much been his, <laughs> his ah, yeah. that's pretty much been his full-time mm -hmm. focus for, for quite a while now. He was now. doing a lot of great stuff on um, it, So, yeah, I mean, he's, he's developed a whole new, like, UI to get you in there, and he's um, uh, meshing the maps out so they look a lot better, mm -hmm. and, and, and there's a whole, like, system with collecting the coins and tracking your score. Someone and, knows the coins are um, Anyway, so yeah. all of that should be out, um, again, like you're saying, yeah. by, the, by our August release is, is, is our target there. Um, and hopefully the whole onboarding process will be much improved. Um, we've been working on ways to incorporate the movement training stuff mm -hmm. into actual combat training that kind of gently leads you into matchmaking yeah. that then gets you out into the wild. Um, so we're we're trying to put together a kind of a gentle slope that leads new players into the game if you want to. Um, yeah, because that's that one of thing. his concerns is you know yeah. the people new people coming in. They're like, right. Wow, this game is. Hard. Well, and, and, and the other good thing about it is like if 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 you go through the training, and especially if we include a couple like some weapon training and some bot matches in there, you start to develop that you know, under the hood, what your rank actually is, what your skill mm -hmm. actually is, before you go out into the wild. So your first time out in the wild, you don't just jump into this crazy match where you're either completely outpaced or underpaced. And um, so this helps with that as well. And it's going to be really important. We're, we're also working on a training ground system where um, if if you're obviously, you know, through, through the onboarding system, it realizes that you're not, th this you're new to UT, you don't really understand some of the more upper comp uh, concepts it's going to flag you as a beginner player until you learn those things and you'll be kept in almost a, a playground with yeah. other beginner players oh, and we're not going to allow you to play against you know Mysterials and <laughs> Hypnos at all. You won't be able, I mean, you will you'll be able, be able to, to manually matches, go and get yeah, there yeah. but if you try and we use any of the automated matchmaking systems it's yeah. going to be 
uh, really specific at keeping you out. And more importantly, it's going to be even more specific at keeping them out. We're yes. not going to let Mysterials and Hypnos and, you know, really good players get in and, and troll these players. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> well, Pete, I, I don't know. He... <laughs> Pete's easy kill. He just fanged deaths everywhere. So. Link pole only. Oh, yeah. well, I mean, well, the other good end, the other good side to that is, you know, if if someone is doing bad things and we ban them, they can create a new account or they can start smurfing, right? And if we have this onboarding process, that at least pulls them out of the pool for a little while as they go through that system, so they're not just like directly back into yeah. into the game. And so, yeah, there's there's a lot of aspects to it, but it's 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 in the works, and I think it's actually going to be very cool. So the next question is from uh, Nukju. I think I said Nuk Nukage. 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 Okay, Nukage. Um, Nuk. <laughs> Just say Nuk. Uh, Nuk. Like, Hi, Nuk. Nuk. <laughs> Can Sorry. you tell us more about your ideas, plans for in-game clan support? What kind of features do you have in mind regarding that Exciting clan matchmaking? Um, okay, so we'll start with that one. Um, we have a lot of things that we'd like to do. But yep. let's start off with what the engine team and team online, they're working, they're working on a whole time. clan interface yep. for m clan everything from clan management to uh, ladders and stuff like that. Now, how long that's going to be and where the milestones are, I, I don't know off the top well, of Jim my head. Well, Jim and I got to see a little preview of that. Yeah, it's yeah. Th so that we have a working system right now that's basically, it's almost like a player card, but for a clan, you can go in and set your clan name and recruit and promote and do all the, the normal things that you do in a clan interface. Um, and they're doing it kind of at the engine level so that if you have a clan or a team, it's not your UT clan, it's just your group of friends that you can play whatever game with. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, and it'll be integrated into our social system so that you can talk to other games and you know chat on the global channel versus the, the local channel and you know, I assume that at that point they'll add the clan channel so you can talk just to your clan mates um, as long as they're online, whether or not they're in-game. So there's a lot of features there. Um, yeah, I the don't launcher's getting worked on too. So. I don't know that we're doing clan matchmaking. Not. I know that it's not planned for beginning. Yeah. Um, but we do have plans to put in eventually kind of like a, a build-your-own-tournament ladder yep. sort of thing. Mm -hmm. so, so you could start like a little mini tournament and... You know, use that as a practice ground, or if you're having your own kind of scrimmage with another group, you can set up your own ladders. And that's that's all through the engine side, and then in the hub side, we have a whole lot of plans for allowing clan admins to have a lot of control over setting up matches on their servers, or being able. To, a good example is with the with the hubs, it's really easy for you know two clans to pick a hub that's neutral to them that they mm -hmm. all have good pings to, jump on it. Go create a match. You know, we're eventually going to have private matches where you can flag it as you have to invite all the people in. At, uh, the hosts of the match now can completely set up who's starting where. You can do all that. And then we want to have a system on top of that for tracking win losses. So you'll be able to have right. official clan ladder uh, uh, hubs that automatically respond and say, okay, this match was over, Clan X won, it automatically records it, sends it to the leaderboards that are specific towards that clan ladder, and that it'll all be built right into the system so it'll all be automated. Yeah. So we have a lot of ideas. And and also, just to build on that, I mean, the whole demo system and the thing that Pete yeah. just showed and the spectating system, like all of so those cool. are features that we are building to be part of the game that, I mean, they support the larger community, but the idea for a lot of those came behind our, you know, from our clan support. Uh, we we, we want to be able to support team play and able to yeah, know, record really it, distribute it, us. watch it, and, you know, all of those things are, are super. And on top of that, we want to be able to have clans promote themselves in the game so yeah. that you can uh, follow a clan or follow people of the clan and get updates to, oh, Clan X is playing, let's go spectate it. And with the new uh, demo recording and spectating features, it's great because you could come in 30 minutes into the match go, I want to go spectate these two clans playing, yeah. and it'll start right at the beginning and start watching and what's going on. <coughs> we, we've also looked at that, too, also in terms of the uh, inventory system. So, you know, you could have the clan flag that only members of your clan get access to, mm -hmm. or, you know, some character skin or a cosmetic item that only your clan has access to. And w one of the other reasons that we want to kind of put that up at the meta level is whoever's in charge of the clan can say, this is the clan name, this is the clan tag, and you know this is how our our logo looks, and when you get flagged as part of that group, you know the tag appears automatically. The 
the logo appears automatically in the scoreboards. Like all of that stuff happens in the metadata as opposed to you having to go in and, and enter it all in manually yourself. Yeah. So it automatically um, picks it up as yeah. soon as you're added. So that's going to be really good. The second part of this question, which kind of goes into that, is how much customization do you think is acceptable in terms of weapon modeling and skins for competitive environments? Esports tournaments, and will there be some kind of filtering process to keep the bad ones out? <laughs> the answer is yes. At first, it'll be curated by us. Yep. Eventually, we'd like I to get it curated by you guys, um, where there's a community hey, board or whatever that <laughs> yeah. curates content that's coming in. <laughs> but yes, we absolutely have to keep out wide ranges. You know, you yeah. can't have all black skins. You can't have invisible weapon models. Those are all really bad things. So um, somebody we, we will keep that out. We know a lot of out. the tricks being yeah. around as long yeah. as the, the engine marketplace already has tools in place where you can upload like, hey, this is something I built with Unreal Engine 4. And it kind of goes into this vetting process where we make sure that it works with the build. We make sure it doesn't have copyrighted material. We make sure it, you know, it, it's, it's, it's all good, so to speak. And then it gets pushed out to the marketplace, oh, and um, <laughs> and I I see a a very near future where that gets integrated into UT, where it's oh I submit something for UT, and instead of going to the engine marketplace, it comes to Stacy, for example, who says hey yes I approve this thing, and then it goes into our marketplace or into our game, however it's supposed to. So awesome. Hopefully that'll be a little bit more automated. Yeah. And ultimately, as I said, the idea is to get it down to be community driven, where yeah. I mean, I would love to see it at almost to a vote up, vote down system where right. people can vote stuff in and, you know, or at least bring it to the attention of whoever's curating it. But it's definitely, it has to be curated. Yeah. And yep. I think that's that's a given across the board. Well, speaking of the, the clan stuff, too, we're working on getting um, avatars in for everybody mm -hmm. in the forums. And we already had a whole bunch done by, oh, jeez. <laughs> Links, tell me who did those real fast. <laughs> um, we had a whole, whole bunch of... Uh, images that were done, we're going to use some of them. Instead of putting them in the forms, they're going to be across the, the whole system. So mm -hmm. Yeah, they're, going, they're, they're, they're going as part of your epic ID. It's yeah. going to be yeah. in your, ep yeah, so if you sign in to the forms or whatever, you'll have your avatar. Um, we have a bunch. They were made by the community. And they're working on it, so somebody, I'm not going to commit really to those good being job. in game anytime in the immediate future, yeah. though. Because well, they, they did a really good job. They went through and took basically made an avatar for every existing UT character from every. Unreal game yeah, it's ever. Amazing. There's just like dozens and dozens of them. You so have really to cool. pay me a hundred dollars if you want Mr. Crow. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and <laughs> my we went PayPal back. is. <laughs> we we went we went back and I I, I talked to Links and I said you know because he gave us a bunch of small ones and then a bunch of really big ones because they want the big ones you know like they have yeah. on Steam where it's like yeah. big and then go down. So Links went back and he re retook a whole bunch of them for I think UT 2004. So should be coming nice. soon. I also soon. say if somebody wanted Mr. Crow in game. All they have to do is build them. Oh. Well, and we'd You're have to we'd have to go. There. Sure, let's put Mr. Crow in game, and th them's fighting. If it's words. A, if it's a good model, yeah. I'm just yeah. saying, Mr. Crow. Anyway, I know uh, at least two Mysterial guys. would would has already volunteered to hook that little. <laughs> Well, no, he, out up. He, he's volunteered to hook up a Easter egg that says Mr. That's Crow somewhere. Mean. Chainsaw was the one who did them originally. Thank you, Chainsaw. Uh, yeah. but I know I know two guys that <laughs> will not play until Mr. Crow is back again. Okay. <laughs> All right, one final question. The final question is, and when can we get our hands on those sweet hubs, HUDs posted in the forums? Um, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the system is in place that allows us to have kind of dynamic HUDs, but... Um, my first thing I would say is the day somebody takes one and packages it and makes a nice, easily installable into the current build blueprintable version, because you can do it all blueprints, is the day I can turn around and try and convince everybody that we should have features for this. Um, but you can certainly do that at this point. But yeah, the, it's not on our immediate feature list, yeah. right? I mean, we do again, actually, though, as of, as of this week, we have a graphic designer, Phil from Epic UK, is looking at our HUD and trying to improve it because you know my temp art will only take us so far. Um, and so if somebody in the community wanted to go in and do that same thing, they totally could. I would point out that the community has done this how many times now? Well, so <laughs> I, I, I wouldn't quite but go But no, that. no, what they haven't done is a simple art reskin as opposed to redesigning the entire HUD. And that is going to require the blueprinting and your integration and all that other stuff, but taking the Sure. Elements that are there, that that is true. There, there are people in the community who have, who have done that, but 
Um, anyway, yeah. the answer is we'll eventually get those available <laughs> once we figure out exactly how we're going to make those available. Yeah. But the coding side of it, I mean, we really are pretty booked up. I mean, I, I can't think of yeah. any of us who don't have a to-do list that's you know a couple hundred things long. Yeah. And comparatively, this one is not that important <laughs> compared to some of the other ones. So that's why we don't prioritize it, which is why I say that if somebody wants to go and create a drop-in one, much like um, uh, Raxi or Tim A has done for other stuff that somebody can play around with, we can then probably try and figure out the last couple of steps that we need yeah. to make that really easily available. Um, if somebody wants to bug me about it via email, go ahead and email me and I'll try and tell you the steps that you need to do to do that. Um, again, all the code to manually do that is already there. Could so we just have to come up with the last couple of steps to make it. Random question. Mm -hmm. Could somebody use UMG? To do the HUD? Mm -hmm. Not really. I mean, they could, but they'd have to start from scratch. Okay. But I mean, that's that's another way to get in. Sure. If you didn't want to go through the full blueprint system and use Joe's awesome, home, well, you could completely come up with your you, own. You would be going through the blueprint system and using UMG yes. at that point, right? Yeah. UMG is all blueprint. So, yeah, yeah but sure. Um, somebody has already tried to do that. Uh, I'm trying to think of the guy's name. He did the uh, CTF Arena. Somebody help me out with his name. Castle? Is it Castle? Anyway, I believe that he did his HUD in UMG. So it is definitely doable. Cool. He's such a troll. <laughs> Pete's trolling chat. He's bored with our, our talk. I wanted to troll back, but I got logged out for some reason. He's on yeah. Pete's team. <laughs> he's capping both enemy flags. <laughs> Pete has only one uh, team, and it's the troll team. It's the Pete team. Mm -hmm. Blue yeah. shirt, red hat. Oh, that's right. <laughs> Too bad it wasn't a red shirt. <laughs> I know. Uh. All right. That's about it for this week. We will see you guys next week. Uh, you can catch the stream later on YouTube. And, or you can listen to the podcast. Hello to all you people listening out there. Uh, and um, Unreal Engine what? Unreal Engine hype. Unreal Engine hype. Make sure you watch that stream tomorrow. It's going to be amazing. Yes. Um, stop by, say hi to Chance. And go play Ark because I'm serious. Ark is a really good game. Yeah. If, you, if you like games like Rust or Daisy or any of those big open world or survival dinosaurs. games or dinosaurs or, or Graph, I mean, they're, it's, it's a lot of fun. So yeah, make sure and tell. <laughs> Just don't go <laughs> swimming because those sharks are vicious. <laughs> yeah, then tell Chance that uh, we sent you over to, and say hi to him from us. So take care, everyone. We'll see you next week. <laughs>